monday.com dashboards and widgets hi guys in this video i'm going to be telling you about dashboards and widgets within monday.com so let's get started if you want to use monday.com then click the link down in the description below to get yourself a free trial so first things first let's go ahead and open up a workspace we're going to be going with this one and basically over here you will see all of your boards and documents and everything right all of the folders now what is a dashboard well basically dashboard is you could say a board where you will get all of the information of all the boards that you sync with it so normally what you would do is you would go into each of these boards look at the statuses look at the channels how many tasks you have look at the deadlines right look at the documents you have all these different ones and if you have more it's gonna take you a lot of time and it's gonna be very difficult and very tedious to go ahead and look up all the information but with the help of dashboard it's very easy so let me just show you how you can add it so to add a dashboard just simply click on the add button over here just like you would try to add a new board you have a new dashboard option over here so simply click over here and over here you can add the dashboard now you can keep the dashboard open like main or you can go with the private version and for this one of course only members you want to have within that dashboard will be able to see it but it all depends on you and then you just go ahead and name it however you feel like it so i'll just call it summary because that's basically what dashboards usually are basically a quick way to see all of the progress within a board now we just simply select the boards that we want to have within our dashboard so i'll just add all of them right there we go now we'll just simply click on done so over here as you can see this is the dashboard right here we'll just put it at the top so that we can see it and within dashboard we can add widgets now what are widgets basically widgets are a small piece of information that you can add within your dashboard which will allow you to quickly see all of that information rather than to go into each of the boards individually in dashboard you can add these widgets and you can get all the information so as you can see we have the calendar widget right here with this one we can go ahead and view all the upcoming events all the tasks that we have we can increase the size of this widget as well to get a more and better look at it as well so over here as you can see these are all of the tasks that we have let me just increase the size there we go so this is as you can see how it looks like pretty compact really cool we can even go into the settings and get some more options right what do we want do we want to have dates timelines uh, do we want them to sort by color do we want additional information everything is available over here within this widget and we can add other widgets as well like numbers we can go with the numbers one over here we can add the numbers over here as you can see these are the numbers now this is a total sum number we can go with a currency uh, an average or medium it all depends on you however you want them and as you can see if you go into the settings you can check what type of numbers are you looking for you know if you want budget uh, impressions uh, price or whatever it is that you want you can go ahead and add that number within this board it's all very cool then you can also add a bunch of other ones as well as you can see you have gantt view as well battery uh, charts let's go ahead and add a chart one as well so as you can see this is how it looks like it basically shows us every single task that we have we have the medium task we have the youtube count we have the low ones facebook mailchimp it all depends on you as you can see as i said before if you go into the settings you can catch individually what you want you can see individually you can choose what type of view you want you know as you can see we have a bunch of different views we have lines we even have this chart version uh, i think this looks pretty cool the chart version shows us what all the things that we need we can add individual widgets as well and another thing you can go ahead and add and choose more boards if you want to for example as you can see currently we have these boards and then you let's say you create a new board and you want to connect with this dashboard then you just simply click on the boards and just simply choose the board that you want to add and then it will reload all of the widgets and give you all of the information including with that board that you added and right now currently as you can see over here we have added and view right now it's in edit mode because if it's in edit mode we can go ahead and increase the number we can increase the size of the widgets but if we just want to view it we choose view so that we don't accidentally go ahead and edit or start editing a widget so 
It's pretty simple, really easy. And of course, as I said before, you can add different people within the board as well. You can share it, you know, subscribers and guests are over here. You can choose a team member. You can add them over here and you can make them the owner of the board as well by just simply clicking on this crown button as well. If you want them, if you don't want them, you can leave it at that. So really simple really easy so this is how you add different widgets within the dashboard and this is how you use a dashboard so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible if you want to use monday.com then click the link down in the description below as you will be able to get a free trial of monday.com as well and do check out some of our other videos that we've done on monday.com on other parts of this awesome website and if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications now we'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye